What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Today, I want to talk to you guys about the right and wrong ways to rig croaker. We're going to be going over a couple different ways to rig them in some different conditions you might be fishing under. And I'm going to even show you guys on this little live target croaker here exactly how you're going to want to place your hook so that you know what to do when you get out on the water. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, before we jump into all the different conditions you're going to use croaker under and the different ways to rig them, I want to talk really quickly about the hook size that you're going to want to use for different croaker. This is your average size croaker right here, about three or four inches. And I do like the two Gamagatsu octopus hook. This is the inline point here. We do have these at fishstrong.com at 20% off for salt strong insiders if you want to pick some up. But you can obviously bump the size up if you're using a larger croaker to about a three aught. And if you are using smaller croakers, you can bump it down to the one aught size. But I find this is a happy medium right here at the two aught for your average size croaker. Now, again, there are a lot of conditions you're going to fish these guys under and you may wonder if you're going to need to use a weight or if you can free line them. It is preferred to use your croakers free line. It just provides for a little bit more natural of a presentation, but if you are fishing in lots of current, you're likely going to need some weight, or if you're fishing in some deeper zones, you need that weight to get down there. Croakers are a bottom dwelling fish and they will go down to the bottom in a shallow water, but obviously if you're fishing in 10, 12 feet of water, you need to get this fish to the bottom, you're likely going to need to use some weight. So let's first talk about fishing in current, uh, and this is gonna be for whether you're using weights or not weights. Uh, anytime that you're gonna be fishing a croaker in current, it's recommended that you hook them through the nose. Now I'm going to show you guys how to hook them here in a second, but if you're using a live croaker, it is recommended that you put it through their top lip. That way they can open their mouth and still get oxygen from the water uh, and they're not going to die as quickly. If you hook them both through the lips, uh, you're likely going to kill that fish a little bit faster. It's not going to be able to get as much oxygen through its gills. But what you don't want to do here is hook it through the tail. Reason for that is when you hook a fish through the tail, it's very likely to get killed by the current really quickly because it can't swim very well. Uh, it's not able to naturally sit in that current and it's likely going to drown. And yes, fish can drown because the oxygen is not getting through their gills properly and it's just going to kill that fish really quick. So again, what I recommend doing for these croaker is take your Gamagatsu circle hook here. Go ahead and put it through the top lip of that croaker. You're going to bring that hook point straight through the top of that nose. So it's going to sit nice and flush with that top lip. You can see I've done this a couple times again on this croaker, but it'll sit like this. That croaker is going to be able to sit really naturally. And as the current pushes against that fish, it's going to be able to flow properly with the current. Bait fish are going to be swimming along the bottom. That's where predators are looking for them. So this croaker is going to be able to pick up some trout or some redfish as it sits in that current if you've put it in the correct spot. Now, again, what you don't want to do is take this hook point and put it through the back of this fish right here. This is for a different scenario. If you do this, what's going to happen is that fish is going to have the current pushing this way against it, and it's going to get killed really quickly. So do not use the tail hook when you're fishing in current, only use it hooked through the nose. Now, if you aren't fishing in current, you do have the option of hooking it both through the tail and the nose. What I prefer to do is hook it through the tail. Again, this is if you're fishing in areas that are pretty shallow, don't have a lot of current, because now that you've hooked this fish, through the tail. And again, a really sweet spot is right here, right in front of this last little fin as we put it through right here. And you don't want to get too deep in there and paralyze the fish by hooking it through the spine, just a little bit above that right there. And that's just right above their lateral line. You can usually use that as a reference. But what this is going to do is allow those croakers to comb through the bottom. Again, we're fishing in shallow water with very little current. They're going to be able to move around and find those game fish for you by being able to be hooked in the tail and moving naturally. Uh, as you put the hook in their nose, they're not going to be able to move around as well. Uh, it is something that you can do. And again, we would just hook it the exact same way that we did when we were fishing in current. Uh, but what's going to happen is it's going to keep that fish mainly in the same spot. It won't kill them, uh, but they're not going to be able to move around as well. As you guys can see, it would just be hooked like this. Uh, they're not going to be able to move around as well as when they were tail hooked. If you tail hook them, they're going to be able to find those game fish for you. They're going to be able to move around and they're going to stick close to the bottom where those game fish are going to expect to find them. Now, another really popular way to fish croaker is under a popping cork. And as you guys can see here, I've got the popping cork and I've attached it to the hook. Now, the way you're going to want to rig a croaker on a popping cork is not through the nose. We want it to try and swim down to the bottom. And again, if you guys remember when we want the croaker to swim and cover some ground and have some action for us, we're going to want to rig it in the tail right above that lateral line, right near that last little fin there. So if we tail hook it and we allow that croaker to suspend above the grass, what we're going to do is pop that cork as it tries to swim to the bottom. And that's going to bring a lot of action and attention to that croaker. 
Again, you're just gonna wanna have it hooked right above that lateral line around this last little fin here. And that's gonna allow that croaker just to be able to move around and have some really good action as it tries to get down to the bottom. And that's likely gonna catch the attention of a really big trout or a really big redfish that's hanging in the grass flats that you're fishing around. So that wraps up the top three ways to rig these croaker up when you're fishing out on the flats for redfish, trout, flounder, and snook. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna learn more awesome fishing tips, I highly recommend you guys join us at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee we're gonna help you catch more fish while saving time and money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, a private insider community with thousands of reports published daily, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle in the industry right now. So we're looking forward to seeing you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.